this, this is going to have implications. I'm going to need to jump for this. Right, so I'm going to do this video with the least amount of Clark and Door references as possible. Obviously, this has been a pretty huge structural fa failure for Emirates Team New Zealand on their AC40. I will just bring up the video of how this actually occurred. So going along and the report states that the rudder lost grip um, and they nosedive, see nose going in now, quite a big stuff and immediately as the boat comes up right, I'll pause there, you can see the bow sprit's bent off to starboard and the <clears throat> and the foredeck is crumpled so instantly pretty huge amount of damage to the bow of the AC40 implications out of this not just for this boat but also for the other syndicates which are tied into the AC40 let's have a look at the damage sustained so this is obviously from bow on this is Emirates Team New Zealand's AC40 it's the boat that's going to be used in a one design configuration for the youth and women's America's Cup um, it's also going to be used by American Magic and Alingi. They've bought, I think, extra AC40 so that they can convert them into test boats by fitting different appendages, different systems. Um, and actually, Emirates Team New Zealand just earlier this month had converted their AC40 from its one design specification and had started running unique kit on it. You can see the size. Um, and it is literally the whole bow that's um, kind of pulled off to one side. Um, pretty glum faces aboard here. And um, yeah, not a happy, not a particularly happy GoPro. Using quite old generation GoPro technology. Interesting. You can see the, some sensors on the underside of the bow that we don't normally get sight of. But yeah, it's sheared off. And I'm not sure if this is like a... Um, yeah a v-shaped um bulkhead that they have in the bow here that has kind of created this crumpled zone but actually far more significant is when you look from above um you'll see it's not just this front triangle that's crumpled but we've got another separate fracture here about a foot back and actually this wave in the front deck i think um i think this is the first major bulkhead in the boat might be another one it might be a rib or something here which has caused this kind of loading across the front here you can just see a little bit of a darker spot if this was just a test mule then you'd be yeah it's obviously far from ideal but you'd patch it up get on with sailing do whatever fixes you needed to do but because this is a boat that's going to go into production not only for the one design racing uh, in this america's cup but also as a boat that supposedly the public can buy this needs to have a, a proper fix i don't expect to see this boat on the water before christmas and i expect if it's got to go back um and have more kind of like structural redesign in this bow section then we're probably talking next spring before we see these ac40s on the water again that's obviously hugely concerning for some of the teams but maybe um, Luna Rossa, who've had time out this month, they've gone, they built their own test platform, but they dropped the mast and have had time off the water, not great winds. So they'll be looking at this and maybe sighing a bit of relief that it's an opportunity for them to catch up with Emirates Team New Zealand. And Ineos as well have built their own test platform and but several months of delay there and not a great first day with lots of teething issues. Again, they'll probably be um, drawing a, um, a sigh of um, relief that um, this is an opportunity to even catch up. Obviously, no one wants to see broken boats, but um, you know it's kind of the nature of the cup when you're with these cutting edge designs. Um, obviously, any boat that's foiling a monohull, this is the big risk, and we see it with the um, 
Ima Kaboats, um, one of the big issues now, Thompson had to drop out of the last Vendee due to structural issues in the bow. The splashdown when you hit is enormous and actually the shaping of of the bow is supposed to dissipate that energy um, and keep the bow above the water so it doesn't dig in. The problem is then you have a large wide flared bow which takes a massive slap when you hit back down um, rather than a more slender kind of dreadnought bow which would pierce and then come up the other side. Um, obviously that then transfers a lot of load onto the rig and the stays but um, you know the energy's got to go somewhere and you know with these flared bows you're saying your bow's going to take it your bow's going to dissipate that energy and if it's not structurally up to it then this unfortunately um, is the result what do you think tell me is this playing into the is this a foreseen uh, scenario from Luna Rossa and Ineos who have elected to build their own test platforms they've now got a, a decent winter ahead of them with those platforms through the teething issues and hopefully getting some good data meanwhile Emirates Team New Zealand are going to be looking at re rectifying the structural issues with these AC40s um, it's not going to be I think you know my personal opinion I don't think it's going to be until the new year that we see um, even Emirates sailing these boats Obviously, the other teams are waiting for their deliveries of the one design, but especially American Magic and Alingi, they are sailing the old legacy AC-75s at the moment, which have their uses, but can't be used to test um, new foil designs. What will the implication be for their design and um, getting out and doing prototype testing ahead of their kind of final design free sign off you can see it's top end conditions just bringing the pump in i mean the other teams will be asking the questions now are these boats fit for purpose which they've purchased from emirates team new zealand you know what are the design criteria from it presumably no cardboard or cardboard derivatives but um yeah because it is a production boat and not just a test mule that's going to make this the process to strip back to the design fix whatever structural issues you've got that more lengthy because it's got to be fit for purpose not just for america's cup one design but also for um a boat that the public can use yeah, let me know. Have Ineos and Luna Rossa taken a step ahead today, selecting to build their own LEQ12s? Plenty of teething issues, plenty of effort goes into. Are they seeing the payoff now? You tell me. And we'll see in the sailing data, monthly report coming up in a couple of weeks. Interesting to see the hit that Emirates Team New Zealand are going to take this month and in December, probably into the new year, into fixing these structural issues. So yeah, make sure you subscribe and tune in for the recon report next month. See you around.